Right now, the companies that provide your internet service no longer need your permission to share your information, including what you search online. Now, President Donald Trump signed this into law this week, new this morning. Casey Jones looked into what this means for you and what you can do about it. She's live outside Spectrum Cable on Mount Hope Avenue in Rochester. Casey. Hey guys, this means that internet service providers like Frontier and Spectrum could be making some coins off your web browsing history and you might not even know it. This of course has a lot of people concerned. Like most of us, Tempest Sampson spends time on the internet daily. I think it's not surprising. Um, it's not exciting either. Sampson isn't happy to hear that President Trump signed legislation Monday, allowing internet service providers to sell and share your data without permission. And neither is internet user Joseph Chun. My information, they can sell yeah. it to others. I don't feel comfortable about it. And I don't really want any others to find out what I do online. But Dr. Josephine Wolf at RIT says this is nothing new. It's been true for a long time that people can share and sell your data. And this, I think, has really been a moment when people are noticing it and, and concerned about it. Dr. Wolf explains there are a few options to protect your privacy. You could run a little program that every five seconds does a random Google search and inserts that into your history. And then when it's sold, nobody really knows anything useful about you. Also, a virtual privacy network service, which essentially puts your browsing history in a secured bubble. But those services come at a price. And all things considered, Samson says she'll keep surfing the net the old fashioned way. I feel like even if we know about it, it's not going to change the way we move on the Internet.